You will remember the hugely successful uh, Naughty's pop band Busted, but should we have a trip down memory lane? Do Here we go. <laughs> An incredibly short trip. Uh, bass guitarist Matt Willis lived the pop star dream, but he was secretly battling drug and alcohol addiction. And he's opened up about that now in a raw and brutally honest documentary. Uh, well, earlier we spoke to Matt and we started by asking when he first knew there was a problem. I think I've always known that I drunk excessively. Like, even when I was a kid, like, um, I mean, typical kind of teenager behaviour, kind of drinking in parks and kind of things like that, I was always taking it further than everyone else, you know? And when I kind of found drugs, I, I just loved them, you know? And it was kind of... And, and much more excessively than my friends, you know? But I thought it was, it was fun, you know? And I really liked it. And, um, and I never really found any, any problem with it until certain kind of key figures in my life started to sit me down and would go, you know, you've got a little bit of an issue here. At, at what point did you actually start to listen? Who was it that made you sit down and say, I've got to make a change here? I, I went to rehab quite a few times, but and the first, like, three times, really, I went for other people. I kind of... Um, the first time, my record company were really angry at me. I was supposed to be making a solo record and I just wasn't turning up. And I was like, I'm in trouble, I need to do something drastic. So I kind of... Um, I checked myself into a very well represented rehab facility and kind of went there and um, and to shut them up, really. And then I came out and just started acting normally again. Quite a few times that happened. But I think... Um, I think once I had a daughter and once I had a child, I kind of... Um, I, I, it, it dawned on me that I... that I was going to be a terrible dad. And anybody who watches the documentary uh, later tonight will also see your wife, who, we, you know, mm. very well-known face as well. She yeah. is in it. And a lot of those interviews she did without you being there. Can we show a little bit from the documentary, which yeah, is your wife, Emma, making a diary of the stuff that you were putting in your body, essentially? Yeah. Let's have a look. A bottle of champagne, a couple of wines, a couple of wines, another bottle of champagne, and more. And more is a reference to, um, drugs. I remember I used to drive around looking for him. I used to go in all the local pubs trying to find him. But he always went to the ones I didn't know about. Must be hard to, to watch that. How do you feel now, knowing what she has been through, but also knowing how much of a support and a rock that she has been to, to you for such a long time? I mean, it was... Um, I had to talk her into being in it. She really didn't want to. And also, we're, we're, we're quite private with our life. Like, we don't really kind of show anything of us outside of the jobs that we do. So it was... Um, it was um, she took a, bit of, took a bit of talking to to kind of come around to the idea. But I, I, I've always felt that, you know... we. With addiction, it can be so focused on the addict, but the impact that that addict has on the people that love them is so massive and kind of forgotten about. How will you watch it tonight? And how has it gone down already? And I suppose the reaction that you expect it to have. I've only had a positive response. You know, I think there's, um, there's a real conversation to be had around addiction. And I think, you know, taking that stigma away, you know, is, is huge because I think we all think of... Well, not we all think, well, but people can certainly stigmatise the addict as this mm. dirty drug taker or whatever. But it's um, at the end, there's there's always pain there, and they're soothing it the only way they know how. Um, you and Busted back together again. You're going to be yeah. going on tour. Um, you're a little bit worried. You've had some, you've expressed concerns in the documentary. You talk about you're you're just worried about just going up, being away from your family. How how are you going to navigate that? I'm very safe in my little environment, you know, and I keep myself that way, you know, and when I. I can get very, you know, swept away with the circus in a way, you know, so it's, um, um, but I have certain things that I implement in my day, every day, which keep me clean and sober. And I'm in a band with two boys who we strangely love each other, you know, in a very weird which way. Which is great, isn't it? It's, it's great, you know, and they, and they care about me and they want to keep me as safe as possible. And they've, and they've said that. And I've kind of said what I'm willing to do, what I'm not willing to do, what I want, certain rules, you know, and things like that, which, I, which I'm, I'm sure they'll stick to. Can I ask you one final question? Because mm. I'm aware there might be somebody watching this tonight on Five News and thinking, oh, I'm, in, I'm in that hole, I'm in that yeah. dark tunnel, I'm really struggling with addiction. What would your message to, to them be? tonight? For so long, I, I, I thought that I couldn't ever live without something. You know, I, I, the thought of it terrified me. You know, I don't think of drinking drugs daily. You know, sometimes those little voices come into my head, but I can, I can very quickly fast forward the tape and see what would happen if I took that drink. But that takes a bit of time. Mm. But it is 
it is achievable and it is something you can do. It takes action and it takes standing up and putting one foot in front of the other. And the first thing is admitting to yourself that you have a problem, you know, which is, um, which is the, the hardest thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it's admitting to yourself and other people that you have a problem and you need some help. And if you ask, there's help out there. I'm just I've got to say again, just so brave. Um, I've got to say anybody should watch this documentary. It's such an insight into addiction. Emma's wonderful, but you're wonderful too. Just make sure you're oh. kind to yourself, sir. I will. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, we don't normally advertise other channels, but BBC One, we'll 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, if you or anyone you know is affected by addiction, you can find help and support on the Mind Charity website or Alcoholics Anonymous.